mirror from my office and to here. The best Caesar salads at home. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Yesterday was July 4th. Murphy saw his first fireworks yesterday. He was in here because Colin left for Rome. He comes home on Thursday. He has another doctor's appointment this Friday. But um, anyway, besides the point, Colin wasn't here. So we were in here and he was freaking out about all the booms. So I just decided to hold him and take him outside and like show him the fireworks. And I honestly like don't know, like scientifically, if dogs can see that far. I mean, okay, hold on though. They were not that far. They were like right in front of us, but see like up. So I'm sure he can see that. Like, you know, puppies, how like their eyesight isn't like amazing yet. Anyways, I don't know. I'm sure his eyesight's developed a lot. I'm just saying. I don't know for a fact if he could see it, but I'm pretty sure he could. So it was really cute. Anyway, happy Monday. I booked a later orange theory class this morning. Um, I'm taking the 845 and honestly, like just with him, I think it might be easier to start taking the 845s, but we're going to feel it out today and then like see what I'm feeling like, but it's almost 8 30. I'm wearing espresso today from Set Active. Give you guys a little Murphy. He's 11 weeks yesterday. I can't even believe he's 11 weeks, you guys. What the heck? He's almost three months old. I think I shared this in my last vlog, but I ordered a new pre workout because they were sold out of Mimosa Arctic White and um, Galaxy Lemonade, which I think Galaxy Lemonade is actually my favorite. I'm trying out Pink Guava. I had it for the first time the other day, and I was like, this is good. Like, it's not amazing, but I think it's really good. But I don't know. What's your guys' flavor? Because I can't decide. Quickly wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor of the video, Sidekick. You guys know I've talked to you about Sidekick before, but I'm obsessed. It is a newsletter specified specifically to you. It's sent twice a week. You just sign up through email. It takes like 15 seconds. It's so easy. And it's unlike any other news source because instead of just filtering through everything that's going on in the world and honestly sending so much negativity into your inbox, it's actually sending you, it's actually sending you articles and things from every corner of the internet that will actually help you better yourself and so I think that a really good step and a positive direction into bettering your everyday routine and your lifestyle and bringing positivity into your lifestyle and figuring out the best way and the most sufficient way to live your life is to outsource and learn from other people learn what things work for other people and trying them out for yourself and so instead of searching left and right through the whole entire internet sidekick does that for you and they send you articles right to your computer twice a week and it ends up just being your personal sidekick when you get your email it's just basically full of recommendations on how to live a better life and live smarter if you will so it's really cool i always look forward to getting my emails every week because there's honestly so much good content in it i've gotten recipes i've gotten like date ideas i've gotten articles about how for people who work from home how to do that in the most efficient way that's really helped a lot and it's just an overall really good source of information but like I said it only takes about 15 seconds to subscribe you just put your email in and there's really no reason not to subscribe especially if you guys are here on my channel you know I like to better myself and find new ways to live a healthy and positive lifestyle I know if you guys are here you probably are also looking to live smarter like me you can click the link in the description to sign up for sidekick today again thank you sidekick for sponsoring this video but let's Let's go ahead and get on into the rest of my day. Power day, done, did the workout, went quick, came back. I do not work today, so that's good for Murphy. And I also don't have that much food, so I'm feeling like some peanut butter toast and fruit is gonna do, look, this is like his nose print. <laughs> Clean the mirrors. Toast and fruit is pretty much what I have. So that's just what I'm gonna make. And I decided to just kind of stop intermittent fasting for now and just eat because it's kind of just becoming a hassle and it's not like I'm oh, wow I need to redo my hair because this hair is not where it's supposed to be anyways it's not like I have to fit into a wedding dress or anything like that and I like hardcore did intermittent fasting and did not eat this is how I lost weight for the wedding I'm finally gonna <laughs> share this because I keep forgetting sorry anyways I did intermittent fasting, I ate from 11 to 7, and I cut out all sugar, and I cut out all dairy. So that's how I lost all the weight before the wedding. And I was like hardcore, like stuck with it, didn't cheat, didn't do anything for three weeks. And when I say all the weight, I only lost five pounds. But for someone who like works out and already kind of eats healthy, five pounds is a lot. Like it was hard for me to lose five pounds, but now I'm like never planning on weighing myself again. So there's that. 
that's just what I did though. It was super simple. That's all I did. I'm starving, so I'm gonna make breakfast. My mom's been out of town <laughs> and he hasn't seen her. <laughs> ready for today so it's 2 30 I have a sponsored video I'm about to start filming right now while Murph is where is he napping um it's with a clothing brand which you guys will probably see before this video and um if you did it's pedal and puff I got very very cute stuff so if you have not seen that video I have a discount code too and everything like that but I kept like honeymoon in mind so yeah got that cute stuff I'm excited but I'm about to put on one of the outfits right now and it's a try on haul so I'm going to get ready with that make sure everything's good to go and then hopefully he'll still be sleeping while I film it that's the goal and then um, other than that I just have a, my chest is kind of breaking out. I just have a like um, sponsored integrated part. I just need to film that. I've already filmed the vlog. I just need to do the sponsored part. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that right away right now. And then we good to go. Okay, so I just finished filming my try on haul and I wanted to tell you guys, before I forget, I finished The Wives by Taryn Fisher and it's T-A-R-R-Y-N. Um, really good, not my favorite book that I've ever read, but for it being like a marriage drama thriller, I thought it was pretty good and honestly, it had my attention the entire time. Like, there was never a time, which is good. I love books like this. There was never a time when I was like, oh, I like just wanna finish the book so I can be done with it. Like, I was excited to read because it was good. It was a good book. So I would give it like an eight out of 10. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a, the perfect marriage or verity for me but I still thought that it was pretty good. I would add The Wives to your reading list if you are interested and you like like thriller dramas like that between, um, uh, well, this one's about a husband who's a polygamist and he has multiple wives. So, I mean, that's pretty interesting if I do say so myself. So, I just finished doing that. For lunch, I'm having some protein pasta and a Caesar salad, I think. That sounds like really good to me. And then I don't really know what I have planned for dinner yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm still obsessed with this water bottle. I'm doing really good too. I just made my lunch, but let me show you guys. I've been making my like Caesar salads at home because I've not been back to Trader Joe's since they kicked me and Murphy out. But um, I just made the Caesar salad with the Trader Joe's Caesar dressing that I still have. I got these um, croutons from Paris Teeter and they are yum they're pretty good so i've just been making my own at home and i'm like proud of it and obsessed with it so i've just been wanting it like all the time also if you watched the last vlog vlog can i talk if you watched the last vlog like my last weekly vlog last week i was sick i must have eaten something and gotten a bug or food poisoning or something i felt awful I feel literally so much better. My stomach is back to normal. Here's my little Caesar salad and then my protein pasta. That's lunch. That's kind of my lunch, not yours. You got food. You have lunch. You've got food in your thing. Are you about to shake? I'm getting you a treat. Hold on. One second. Come here. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Lay down. No. You know what to do. Lay down. No. Lay down. Good boy. So this wasn't the healthiest decision I've made, but we did in fact go to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Still celebrating the 4th of July. We're just gonna call it a holiday. Um, but I just like could not be bothered to make dinner. So I made lunch, like that's good, but I was just craving Chick-fil-A. So I was like, I want it, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna eat my Chick-fil-A, I just got nuggets and fries. Currently nine. I just finished up work for today. I feel like I've been so bad at vlogging, but also to be completely honest, my motivation has <laughs> like gone. And I feel like I'm, I was like kind of getting it back this past weekend when Colin was here. My necklaces are tangled, I'm sorry. Regardless, it's just kind of like, I'm exhausted because raising a puppy by yourself 
um, is just like really difficult and it's really hard to like get things done and um, like content and stuff and it's so much easier when somebody else is like here to help you so like when Colin was here this past weekend I obviously oh that's what I was saying oh my god I couldn't remember what I was saying I was saying I didn't vlog because Colin was here and I hadn't seen him oh my gosh second time I've tried to put my hair up and it looks weird I hadn't seen him in two weeks and so I just decided not to vlog this weekend but either way besides the point um, Colin was here and he could watch Murphy and he like helps me take my Instagram pictures sometimes and so it was just easier for like the day and a half that he was here but he comes home for good this Friday or this Thursday one of the two I'm unsure so I'm really excited about it Murphy and I are about to go outside on a walk I've got my airpods but either way the main purpose of this is like to tell you guys that I feel like the vlogs are just so repetitive recently because it's okay, I know we're about to go outside. Sit. Good boy. It's just me and Murphy, and like I get that like him is like a cool, fun topic, but I feel like I just like go to work, do like YouTube things and get that done. And like I just haven't had the motivation. Come here. Come. I haven't really had the motivation to like take an outfit picture, or, like get ready because it's like I go to work and then I have YouTube things to do or um, I like want to spend time with him and I don't want him to feel like neglected and I want to be fun and play with him and I'm just like have lost motivation and then last week I definitely had the stomach bug this week I'm feeling better and so I'm just excited for Colin to come home but you guys were I posted an Instagram picture finally after like a while someone commented that they missed my content I was like you know what I did I did take a month break but it's okay we're back Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You freaking sweet puppy. If you're wondering why I hold him like this in so many vlogs, it's because one day he's going to be so big, I can't do this anymore. And that way I can watch back these vlogs and remember how little he was when I was holding him like this. Because I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it, like, eventually. So, don't mind my, like, oh god, <laughs> don't mind my segments of me cuddling with him it's honestly just for my soul memories and my just my love for you i just freaking love you he slept so much today though which is good because i got a lot of work done because i had two videos that needed to be finished so i'm gonna probably listen to a podcast because i have not listened to any podcast today just been go 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 morning vlogged all day but that's because for the next three days I work so we know the drill. I did make a HelloFresh meal for dinner. I had one left over from the week before and it didn't go bad so I was like I'm gonna make this for dinner and Murphy is being an attention and he's like barking. I thought he was just about to take a nap. Maybe he's going into his little spot. Is anyone else's dog <laughs> obsessed with the dishwasher? Literally, anytime, anytime I open the dishwasher, it's like a full on sprint to get on the dishwasher. And you are crazy. You're not supposed to get down. Say, we had a little bit of a rough morning this morning, you guys. Probably look really rough, but let me tell you what happened. So, I woke up and heard him, like, trying to throw up at, like, f it was, like, almost 6, but still, it was, like, maybe 5.40 something. So, anyways, I woke up. And I like sat there with him and he threw up three times and then he was fine. Then he was like, okay. And then he got some water and then he like laid back down and he was fine. So I think that he's okay. I cuddled with him because I felt really bad for him. <laughs> anyway, so I think that he's okay. But then he fell back asleep from like 6.15 to like 7.30. So now it's 7.45 and we pretty much just woke up. Are you okay, buddy? You didn't feel good this morning? It's okay.
Amazing news, you guys. I just got out of the shower from after my workout and got ready since I nanny today um too but i just scheduled our couch delivery for next week so next weekly vlog there's going to be a couch coming i'm getting him ready to go because um my mom is back in town like you guys saw it. so i am oops, bringing packing him up like a little to go bag situation because he's gonna go spend the afternoon at her apartment i'm about to drop him off but main Thing I'm, I needed to tell you guys was we finally are getting the couch delivered and I cannot explain to you how excited I am because oh my god I just have wanted a couch so bad recently like I just want to be able to come home and sit on the couch and I'm very 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 excited so yeah next Wednesday um hello summer storms I am soaking wet I'm done with work and um I dropped my off at my mom so I need to go home or I need to go pick him up I'm actually right across the street from my mom's house, so it's really convenient. But anyways, it's pouring, and on the way home, I was like, I should just go get dinner. It's like almost five, and I know it's super early, but it's just really convenient. I'm sure it's so loud, too. It's raining so hard. Anyways, it would just be more convenient for me to pick him up, pick up dinner because we don't have any food, or I don't have any food, um, versus having to go get him, and it was raining. Anyways, I just got soaking wet, but I got Chipotle, my Chipotle bag soaking wet. So, honestly, I might just go take this and run upstairs to my mom's and eat at my mom's house and wait for the storm to pass. I don't know if we're getting like the leftover hurricane or like what was of the hurricane in Florida and it's just like making its way up or what. I don't know. Okay, so we actually just got home. It's like 7.30. I ended up staying a while at my mom's. We were watching soccer. Like, of all things, it was so weird. When I got there, they were watching it. And so, um, I mean, I've never played soccer. I did not play soccer. I don't know the rules of soccer. Um, I played softball and volleyball. And so, it was interesting. We were watching England play Denmark. And it was very fun. And then I ended up eating there. And then I just left so I could feed him dinner. But yeah, anyways, we were just relaxing. And my mom has a couch. So I was like, yo, can I eat dinner and sit on your couch? Because that, I just like felt like it. So anyways, it was really good. And then, ow, oh my god, he's biting me. Sorry, excuse me. No. And then when we got home, I went and picked up a package. And it's our new Brooklyn and Sheets for our king bed that's coming. But um, I think I'm going to put them on our bed now. Is that bad? Because our sheets, like, I'm just, we just really, really need new ones. So, and I feel like the sooner you can break them in, the better. I know Brooklyn and Sheets, it says, like, the more you wash them, the softer they get. So, right now I have my activewear in the wash. And then when I hang that up to dry, I'm going to put the sheets in there and then dry the sheets. And then, and then put them on our bed. The electronics in my life are failing me my camera will like randomly stop recording and the screen will go black and I shattered the screen anyway but besides the point now this new issue is coming up where it'll stop recording and the screen will go black and then it'll delete everything that I recorded in the clip that was like being shot when it went black so I'm about to go look at some new cameras Colin was like, yeah, it's probably time to get you a new camera. I'm looking into getting a Canon this time instead of a Sony. So we'll see. I think this man's about to go get a walk because he's got a, he's in a little tood. You're in a tood right now. It's like leg day with you now. Should we do some squats? <laughs> do some squats? Ooh, squat hold. You okay? Got a lot to handle. Exercising before a walk. So I just unboxed our new sheets and it came with a little tote bag which I wasn't expecting but I'm honestly like super thankful for because I'm obsessed with those. And also we got the Lux sheets. It said that it was the best seller. It was like, and also Colin and I, we do not sleep with a top sheet. I do not stay in a top sheet. I hate the top sheet. So. Anyway, yeah, I just got a fitted sheet and pillowcases, so. Honestly, it wasn't like super expensive. I thought Brooklyn was gonna be way more expensive. So, I'm excited.
I forgot to tell you, but basically we're making some house apartment changes, which I think you guys are going to be like, what? But yeah, it's happening. So basically, well, first of all, hello, good morning. Um, Colin either comes home tonight or tomorrow, like for good. And I am so excited. Like you guys have no idea. <laughs> and then next week will be literally the first week we've spent together since we were married. So like, that's pretty wild. But I'm wearing amethyst today for the set. I'm talking to somebody right now. Can you please oh. hold on? <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Anyway, so like I said, <laughs> oh my God, I love him so much. Um, wearing amethyst. I'm about to go to Orange Theory, but I moved this huge mirror from my office into here because the other mirror fell over, totally my fault, and shattered and broke. It was tragic. So I put it, this one in here and I'm so excited about it. And then you guys know we're getting a king bed. And so I have like an issue of selling this one. I'm like, I really do not want to sell this one. Why would we sell like a perfectly good bed that is just not a king? Like we would just rather have a king. So we're actually turning our my office into a guest bedroom and I, we're doing it because I'm like just not ready to sell the bed and since I've been nannying I really don't use my office that much anyway and um, I don't know I, it's, which it's just what we're doing so anyways I'm trying to like slowly start making the switch from like the furniture and like making that a guest bedroom so, and that'll be easier when people come and like stay with us and whatnot, but it was just like what we thought would be best. And I can still like work in the living room and stuff and work in there if I need to, but yeah, we're just making the switch. So that's gonna be a guest bedroom. So that's the big decision that we made, but that way people can come visit us and stay in the bedroom. And I don't know if we're re-signing our lease here or not, or if we're moving. I just got off the phone with the vet because tomorrow, Murphy's got another doctor's appointment for some more vaccines and he's just getting so big and then uh, he's only getting vaccines tomorrow and then we have to go back for another wellness checkup pretty soon so yeah we're gonna get that scheduled tomorrow but anyways he's a good boy anyway he's getting so big I just got some things done before I go nanny today and then today's actually going to be kind of a busy day because I'm taking him to Gigi's house, my mom's house, and then after that I'm going to pick him up and then we're going to go over to um, Colin's parents' house to hang out with um, my brother-in-law and his girlfriend because she's about to leave to go to college. Actually, they both are about to leave to go to college and so the next time she sees Murphy or like us. It'll be um, not until Christmas, I think. Maybe Thanksgiving. We're unsure. So, yeah, I'm just going to go spend time with them. Colin is, in fact, coming home tonight, so that's exciting. And, guys, update on this water bottle. I'm obsessed. I'm a little sad because it fell out of my car and it got scruffed up. But I am taking this with me everywhere I go now. This is, like, my new jam. Um, if you want a water bottle to hold you accountable, this is it. So, yes, and also packed Murphy's bag for today and the new Brooke Linen bag that I got yesterday. And update on the sheets, too. They're like, I know that they're going to get softer. And the reason I think that they're not as soft as our other sheets is because I've literally had our other sheets. I don't even know where they were from. They were probably like Home Goods or Marshalls or something from forever ago. But maybe even Target, who knows had them for so long they were like getting rips in them like it was so bad like so hand-me-down <laughs> so anyways it's just gonna take a couple washes for them to get super nice and soft i'm looking for a sleep i forgot where i put it but anyways really comfy really good sleep i slept really good last night so so did murph so anyway yeah i'm probably gonna see you guys when we get back tonight um if i get any clips i'll just vlog on my phone but really truly we're gonna be like go 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 today so yeah, that's that. Good morning. So 
I told you guys yesterday wasn't gonna be fun. I seriously went and got Murphy from my mom's house, took him to Colin's parents' house and hung out with them for the night. We got Chinese food, we watched Cruella, so it was nice and fun. My hair looks ridiculous because Colin got home last night and so he's sleeping right now and then once he wakes up, I'm gonna take a shower and wash my hair and stuff. But until then, it is Friday, so I have uh, some computer stuff to get done. I'm gonna get that done right away this morning so I can shower and then shoot some content later today. Um, Murphy's over there chewing on Colin's suitcase, so I probably need to stop that. Is this a sit? Or like, what is this? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to probably make some breakfast here soon. And I've got a video going up today that's sponsored, so I need to handle all that and then we'll get the show on the road. Okay, so I know it's been a minute since I showed a smoothie. That's because for some reason I just like wasn't into smoothies for a little bit, but now I'm back into it. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm putting in my smoothie today, mainly because I just really wanted like a vanilla protein. And Alani New doesn't have just like straight up vanilla protein for like, well, at least not in my GNC and not from what I've seen. So I was in Target and I ended up just picking up this Tone It Up vanilla protein and I really like it. It's plant-based and it's dairy-free and I love the taste. So here's what it looks like. I've never used it before and I was like a little skeptical. I don't know why. I was like, mm, whatever. But at the same time, I was like, in Target, I was determined to get a protein from there because I didn't feel like going anywhere else. And so I got it and I tried it and I really like it. Like I like it a lot. So I think that I'm going to start using that protein from now on. But basically, I'll show you guys my like, recipe. I just take like a handful of spinach. Maybe a little bit more than that. So I take spinach. And then I do mango. This is a frozen mango from Trader Joe's. And I just do like three, three or four pieces or like a chunk. Like, like that's good. And then um, I'll do some chia seeds. Make sure I shake them up so my bunch doesn't come out at once. Just a little bit to help with fiber. And then I kind of eat a banana, but I just put like a little bit in it. So I'll end up eating a whole banana, but I just end up ripping off like a little bit for my smoothie. One scoop of the protein powder. And then um, I go back and forth between Teamy and Amazing Grass, but I ran out and I just was, it was easier to get Amazing Grass greens, but um, I like these a lot, you guys know that. So I do two scoops of the greens. And then um, I have strawberries, but I need to clean them really quick. Today I'm going to do three because they're smaller. I always just leave the stems on. It's like more green. I don't know. They just blend up. It doesn't really bother me. So lately I've been like loving a piece of peanut butter toast in a green smoothie in the morning. So I think that I'm going to do that for breakfast. Anyways, so after I do all that... I just top it with some oat milk. Oatly is my favorite. I've tried milk and honestly I really didn't like it. Um, I don't know why, but I didn't. So, and then obviously the more liquid you put in, it determines if it's more of a thick smoothie or a thin smoothie. So yeah, that's everything.
just showered and got ready. Well, I'm calling kind of like relaxed and stuff. Indeed. And now we are actually, I you know how I told you guys about the TV situation? Well, we're about to go buy a new TV because ours is just it's broken. Grade. Yeah, well, at There's that too point, much complex like wiring and like the motherboard and I'm just not I'm not with it and basically it's like less expensive to buy a new TV than it would be to get it fixed I guarantee you so we're yeah. going to Walmart because class we're calling said he wants to go but yeah, we're the looking best place to go for a cheap TV looking for a new TV and then we're going to Murphy's doctor's appointment and then we have plans for um, like we just want to do something low key tonight, nothing crazy. So we're just going to order a pizza, um, and pick it up and then potentially maybe go out and get gelato tonight. Is that what, mm -hmm. is that what it is? So eat the pizza here and then maybe leave and go because this new place like right down the street from us just opened and I've been waiting for him to get home obviously so we could go try it. I'm doing good on my water intake today. I just had to refill it because I drink it all already. I feel like I'm really handsome right now. What the heck? You always do. Anyway, we're happy to have him home, finally. Doesn't feel real. I'm so glad he's not leaving again in like a day and a half. Yeah, right. So, yeah. It doesn't even feel like I'm staying. It feels like I'm leaving in like a day. You're here for good. And I finally, I think this is the first time I've put makeup on and got ready this week. So I'm feeling good about myself too. Yeah, definitely. We got ready. We got cute for Murphy and his doctor's appointment. That's what it is. It's also pouring though, so that kind of sucks. But Murph, let's go, buddy. Here's Murph. Oh. He's awake now. Oh man. <laughs> He's just snoozing on the way to the vet. There. We're almost there. <laughs> but he is passed out. And he doesn't know what's coming. I forgot his vet records at home, and we have to bring them so we they had to know. Go back again. Yeah, we had to go back and get them. It was just like in the folder that he came home with. I completely forgot. So I realized it not that far away though, so that was nice. But we had to turn around, and so our plan was to go get the TV before the vet appointment. But now I think it's gonna have to be after. Are you ready to go see Dr. Miller? He has no idea. <laughs> We're in the car for you. For your appointments. Three more to this, two more days until he's 12 weeks. Gosh, they grow up so quick. We made it. We made it. He's excited for, until he gets. Yeah, I was about to say, no, no. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like, oh, this is nice. I think you probably put him up there. Yeah. Put him up there. Nah, I don't want to do that yet until she comes in here. Yeah, that's true. I just don't trust him. <laughs> I don't want to, like, have something. Well, you would have to hold him, yeah. Just looking around. Do you smell some other dogs? <laughs> He's like, excuse me. You sat on this bench when you were a puppy, Murphy? I'll insert the picture here, but these were the benches that him and his litter were sitting on because we were taking him to the same bed. What's funny about this whole thing is I didn't even realize this, but the person, the woman who we got Murphy from took all the puppies to this bed. But this vet is the same vet that we've been taking like our family dogs to since I had Buddy like forever ago and Riley comes here too, so. Vaccines and we got a treat because he was so good. Okay, so Colin just ran into Walmart his store of choice to get our TV. But update on Murphinator. He's 22 pounds. He's so healthy. He got a special vaccine because we're gonna be in lake water next weekend and it'll protect him from any bacteria in the lake. And Dr. Miller remembered me from when I was six years old. And I'm trying to think of what else happened. He got a good, treat Colin left his phone in the car so that's unfortunate um he got a 
little bone to chew on at the doctor's. Nothing like people watching in the Walmart parking lot gnawing on your bone, huh? <laughs> what a good life. Oh, it's a Roku TV? What's that mean? How big is it? 55. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Me too. Okay. All right, so what pizza place do we decide on? Okay, so we've got the TV, we've got an awake dog, he just slept for a long time, and then we stopped and we got mellow mushroom pizza, and I got a Caesar salad. Very excited. It's gonna be a good night. His sniffer is working in overdrive right now. Do you see it? Yeah, he's like, oh man. What's that smell? What's that good smell? Can you hear him? <laughs> Here's the new TV. Colin's about to put the legs on it, he said. And I'm so hungry. Or it's messy in here, but when is it not? I feel like I say that sentence, like that exact sentence in every vlog. Here's my Caesar salad, Caesar dressing, and oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Um, what's the Wi-Fi password? It, Bianca. Mm. Mm. We ended up putting the TV in here until we get our couch on Wednesday. Also popcorn. Our pizza was so good. Here's a hack. You get peanut M&Ms and you put them in your popcorn. I've never heard of that. Wow. Because you, you, I, you know that for me. Did he eat his food? Well, he's just laying down right there. But do you think he ate it? And then the warm popcorn makes the M&Ms kind of melt a little bit and then the combination together is so good he did not. oh from that thing. and then they're just like hidden in there come on murph thanks mm -hmm. do you want to get up here you don't want to get up <laughs> 